Well, that's been uh, definitely one of the most difficult days uh, until now. For me, Paris Olympics is a good time to C'est le rêve, c'est un rêve de petite fille de faire les Jeux Olympiques dans son pays. C'est unique, c'est unique au monde. Et... Quedan quatre meses pour la compétition de ma vie. The first of five UIPM Pentathlon World Cup events takes place in Cairo and Olympic year starts here. But all roads lead to Paris, where the Games take place in July and August. The hopes and dreams of a new generation are on the line, channeled into one of the oldest Olympic sports modern pentathlon five disciplines in one sport the most challenging test of body and mind in the olympic movement it's captivating it's fascinating it's entertaining and i fell in love with it uh, since the first moment athletes compete across fencing horse riding and swimming and then race a handicapped running and shooting event called laser run where the first across the finish line wins. In this global race for glory, there are only 72 Olympic places. And at this stage, 44 of them have already been taken. It means an almighty scramble over the next six events with only 28 places remaining, 14 for the women and 14 for the men. And for those who have already qualified for the Olympics, fitness and form mean everything as they test their competitive levels against their main rivals for glory in Paris. There's something like a contrast inside me <laughs> about the emotions uh, for Paris because I'm obviously a little bit nervous. I'm trying to have no expectation, but it's quite impossible. I, I lost a few weeks of trainings, but it's uh, part of the plan of being pentathlete, you know. We, we uh, sometimes have, have to deal with uh, many little injuries. The, the idea that we are humans, we, we can't be perfect. We try to be, we always try to be it. We always are looking for a kind of perfection to be uh, uh, my best at swimming, my best at running, my best uh, at each sport. But for uh, obvious reasons, uh, that's, not, uh, that's not possible for us. Creo que las mejores palabras que me describen son apasionado y enfocado. Me gusta del pentatlón moderno, que es un deporte en el cual te tienes que adaptar todos los días y en cada momento. Un segundo puedes eh, salir como el no favorecido, el underdog, pero al siguiente estás peleando por las medallas. Mi hermano Ismael me motiva todos los días a ser mejor persona, me hace sentir que todo es posible, me recuerda que se tiene que trabajar día tras día por ese sueño. En el pentatlón moderno se entrena en la mañana, a mediodía, en la tarde y en la noche. Todo el día estás entrenando y tratando de mejorar. Emocionado, creo que prepararme para mis primeros Juegos Olímpicos es un reto. Uh, 
la qualification olympique, euh, je ne suis pas encore qualifiée, donc euh, il faut que je fasse étape par étape et que j'exprime le meilleur de moi-même et ça va, ça va le faire. C'est un rêve de petite fille de faire les Jeux Olympiques dans son pays. C'est unique, c'est unique au monde et, euh, et pour moi c'est sûr que voilà, c'est un rêve aussi d'aller chercher une deuxième médaille olympique parce que je sais euh, ce que c'est une médaille olympique mais c'est sûr que mon rêve, mais euh, ça se prépare. Euh, psychologiquement, mentalement, ça se prépare parce qu'il euh, y a beaucoup de pression. Euh, même si j'ai fait euh, deuxième au Caire l'an dernier euh, et tout ça, j'étais pas bien en fait euh, en tant qu'athlète, je me sentais pas, et en tant que femme, j'étais pas bien et c'est vrai que là, euh, je me suis reconstruite. Euh. Je dirais que euh, mon, ce qui est le plus difficile pour moi, c'est de. Je suis très le temps, ça, ça se voit pas, mais je suis quelqu'un. J'ai besoin d'être calme et, euh, et en compétition, le plus difficile, c'est vraiment rester, garder mon calme, mon sang-froid, être vraiment euh, voilà, dans... Parce que je suis un peu artiste comme ça euh, dans la vie. Et c'est vrai que des fois, un peu, je, je suis un peu dans la lune, etc. Et des fois, du coup, euh, en compétition, mon travail, c'est de rester vraiment sur terre et d'être vraiment ancrée et d'être solide pour être présente à ce que je fais. Quoi. Let's begin our coverage here in Cairo by taking a look at the current format of pentathlon, which starts with qualifications, where the athlete numbers are reduced to two groups of 18, with semi-final A and semi-final B taking place. After the semi-finals, we're left with 18 best athletes who contest in the final. The event takes place over a condensed 90-minute duration, five disciplines with 18 athletes up against each other and competing for those medals. Well, the competition starts with semi-finals, where there's no riding but the riding points scoring system is on your screens now we'll go into greater detail later in the competition it's then over to the fencing bonus round for the one-on-one -on -one bouts with the conclusion of the fencing action it then moves over to the swimming pool for the heats of the 200 meter freestyle here in Cairo it's a 50 meter pool so expect some varied times we conclude with the ever dramatic laser run. Five laps of the 600 meter circuit with four laser shooting rounds where the athletes have to shoot the five targets. The first over the finish line, as always, is the winner. This is the new format. It's fast, it's frantic, and a new challenge for athletes to overcome. It's the Olympic year, everybody, so strap yourselves in and welcome to Modern Pentathlon 2024. Well, we begin our coverage with women's semi-final A and with a focus on Eleanor McKelly, the two times reigning world champion, is in a struggle to get herself into the final. She didn't have the best fencing ranking round, which has put her quite far down the order. She's here in swimming heat one, which is the first of these swimming heats. And yeah, that's a pretty quick time in the pool for McKelly, but she's got work to do if she is to get herself into the final. It's all about getting inside that top nine and making her way through the field as best as she can. Ellen McKelly is not having the best semi-final here, and it will be elimination for McKelly. She will not take part in the women's final here in Cairo. Well, it has been uh, definitely one of the most difficult days uh, until now. And we, in a way, expected it because I hadn't trained for six weeks almost, and. It was really hard today. I made a little bit of mess yesterday during the, the fencing ranking round. I just need to be a little more, a bit more patient and calm. So the world champion out of the competition, understandably disappointed, but that perhaps gives the opportunity for some of the other athletes to make their mark on this competition. All eyes on Michelle Pouillash, by the way, who's been in fantastic form heading into this competition and that form has continued into the ranking round 26 victories 
for the Hungarian who seems to be in terrific form after the ranking round. So the athletes warming themselves up, getting themselves ready for the riding, which is the first discipline. Elodie Cluvel, who, as we heard, had a tricky year last year, is currently in 11th place and trying to do her best here on the riding course. Just as a reminder, it is seven points for a knockdown, 10 points for a refusal. And there you can see Cluvel with a perfect 300. Up next, Carenza Bryson of Great Britain, who is one of the in-form athletes. And Carenza Bryson also with a perfect score, 300. Sunwoo Kim for Korea is next here on the riding arena. And we're seeing some really, really good rides here. It's another perfect score. And once again, all eyes on Michelle Gouyer. She'll be feeling a little bit of extra pressure here on the riding because she's obviously in first place, but puts together a nice score, 293, which means Gouyash is top of the pile after the riding. Great work from the Hungarian. So that concludes the riding. It's now time for the fencing bonus round. Karenza Bryson against Sunwoo Kim. We're just seeing a few of those highlights then of some of those bouts. Kim versus Gouyash now, and Gouyash, who's been in such good form here, in fencing gets another four points because it is four points if you are top of the pile and there you can see Cluvel set up in the 8 and some of the highlights of the conclusion of the fencing action with the fencing bonus round over now to the swimming with swimming Heat three, Gulyash, Kim, Kim, Bryson, Oteza and Malashevska all in the pool. 20 seconds gone and it's a pretty tight battle. You can see Gulyash at the top of your screen there. She's leading. She's always pretty quick in the pool. And Gulyash sets the fastest time. It's all going the way of Michelle Gulyash. She's 2.23 seconds ahead of Ortega. Let's see how that affects the rankings. Gulyash then with a 14 point lead over Sun Wu Kim. And Michelle Gulyash is looking like the athlete they're all going to be trying to beat in the laser run as we build up to the exciting conclusion of modern pentathlon. Gulyash with a 14 second lead over Sun Wu Kim and looking a bit further down the rankings. How can some of those athletes a bit further down try and make an impact on this first event of the 2024 pentathlon World Cup series? Off goes Gulyash then. She's being followed closely, of course, uh, by the Korean Sun Wu Kim. Marie Ortega, who struggled with her shooting a little bit last year, is currently in a bit of a battle for third and second place. So it's Gulyash in first place, and that's a 16 second shoot for Gulyash, so away she goes. Ortega is, well, building on a pretty good competition for her so far, looking to medal in this first event. Elodie Cluvel, who we focused on in this competition, is struggling to get herself into the upper echelons of this field. So Gulyash, after the final shooting routine, is absolutely flying. Bryson at the shooting range is looking to get herself inside that top three. Sunwoo Kim of Korea is away and has half a hand on that silver medal after a fantastic final shooting routine. This is the battle, though, for bronze. Bryson Malashevska and Bryson gets away. So Bryson really with a great competition. Gulyash crosses the line though. It's gold for the Hungarian. Sunwoo Kim takes silver. And there you can see Karenza Bryson battling her way through the field. Fantastic start to the season for her. But it is gold for Michelle Gulyash of Hungary. Let's take a look then at some of those standings. Kate French, the Olympic champion in seventh place, back in the competition. Elodie Cluvel down in 13th place, and that is your top 18. Uh, it was, you know, a big uh, um, temperature difference in the weather, so it was a little bit uh, tough to run well, but I was trying to focus on my shooting so I can keep my distance and then I don't have to focus so much on my running. So I'm very, very happy. My coaches are very happy that I'm back, so everybody's happy. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Michelle Gulyash radiating happiness and delight. She takes gold here in Cairo. It's silver for Sunwoo Kim 
and it's bronze for Carenza Bryson. Elodie Cluvel, well, it wasn't her competition here, but it's progress for her. She finishes in 13th place. Uh, oui, uh, c'est sûr que j'ai. Je suis très positive, donc uh, forcément, aujourd'hui, j'ai appris des choses. J'ai vu ce qui, ce qui manquait, uh, même uh, mentalement, pour aller chercher uh, encore plus. Mais je suis contente de ce que j'ai fait, je suis contente de ma préparation et je reviens de très loin aussi, il ne faut pas l'oublier. Il, il y a quelques mois, j'étais vraiment dans le dur, donc je suis contente que ça progresse tranquillement, step by step. Et Aujourd'hui, je suis ici, c'est ma place, donc je félicite toutes les autres filles qui sont devant moi. Et... So with the women's competition complete, time now to focus on how the men get on here in Cairo. We begin with semi-final B, an opportunity for us to see how Chang Wang Seo and Emiliano Hernandez get on. Action, of course, starting with the fencing ranking round and a bit of work to be done for Chang Wang Seo. He's going to have to make his way through the field, a little bit like what we saw with Eleanor McKelly. Here you can see Seo and Hernandez battling on the fencing bonus round piece. But Seo has had a very good laser run and has got himself into that coveted ninth place. Throws his hat off with full focus now as he's in a real battle with Maxim Maruk to try and get himself into that top nine. There you can see in the background Chang Wang Seo who gave everything in that semi-final. He's done it. He's qualified for the final. Great race. Emiliano Hernandez is there as well. Are both in Super Saturday's final. Well, you can see there the results from the ranking round and Christopher Paths from France has had a very good fencing ranking round, which is no surprise, actually. He usually performs very well here in Cairo, a couple of gold medals in the past for the French athlete. We begin our action in the riding with Charles Brown from Great Britain, currently in sixth place overall, and putting together a really solid ride here. He's not made any mistakes so far. No knockdowns, no refusals. It's a 296 for Charles Brown, just the four time penalties taken off his score. Ahmed El Gendi, Olympic silver medalist, next up on the riding arena. He knows these conditions well and a really good score. Ahmed El Gendi with the perfect 300. Up next, Camille Kaspersak from Poland, currently in third place on horse two. Lareza, and this is looking like a good ride as well. Just five points off the lead. Camille Kaspershak with a perfect 300. Back to back perfect 300s. Marvin Dog in the end got a 293. Christopher Pat missing out though. He was eliminated from the riding. We can see Chang Wang Seo and Emiliano Hernandez. Uh, and their progress in the fencing bonus round. Meanwhile, is Ahmed Al Gendi and Ahmed Hamid up against each other. The two Egyptians battling for position there in front of their home crowd. Mahana Shaban, who is one of the inform athletes. The competition not going exactly his way. Now you can see Emilio Hernandez and Chang Wang Seo. A moment of focus for Seo. So Ahmed Algendi versus Kamil Kaspershak of Poland and Kaspershak gets that victory and you can see just how much that means to him as the fencing action concludes and we move on to the pool where we join the action with the final swimming heat, swimming heat three, Kaspershak Dog, Algendi, Brown, Hamed and Bello all battling for position in the pool at the first turn. It's pretty close, but you can see starting uh, to make a little bit of an impact and edge ahead, Ahmed Al Gendi, followed in second place by Charles Brown with Valentin Bello in third. These are the standings then after the swimming discipline, and it's all to play for as we head into the laser run. El Gendi and Kaspershak locked on the same score with Muntaz Mohamed starting in third place. The young Egyptian will be looking to chase down his hero Ahmed El Gendi who of course captured the hearts of Egypt with silver at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. 
And you can see Mohammed is making his way through the field and holding on to those front positions. It is El Gendi and Kasper Schack now. Kasper Schack gets the quicker shoot and moves into the race lead. He's followed out closely by Ahmed El Gendi, who is so consistent. He is certainly going to be one of the favourites for gold in this competition here in Cairo. But you can see Mutaz Mohammed is not giving up on that chance, especially not for a medal, as he makes his way into the fold now, into that battle with Kaspershek. Kaspershek holding on to second place, and this is the battle for the front three as we approach the mid-range of this laser run final. You can see the locals all getting behind the athletes, and Ahmed al Gandhi leads the way. His brother was eliminated, and he's looking to continue the good form of Egyptian success here in Cairo and Multaz Mohammed now in a battle for second and he moves around the outside of Kasper Shak so it's an Egyptian 1-2 El Gendi the Olympic silver medalist in first place Mohammed now moves up into second place and what a result this would be for the young Egyptian and he's giving Ahmed El Gendi a real run for his money here and takes the race lead Wow, this is exciting as we head into the shooting range again. So it is Ahmed Al Gendi versus Mutaz Mohammed. And there you can see the shooting from both these Egyptian athletes is on point. But Ahmed Al Gendi with a 7.34. Could that be enough to take gold? Mutaz Mohammed, 14 seconds. He's going to have to try and do the work on the track. But Ahmed Al Gendi, with a quick glance over his left shoulder, knows he's got enough of a gap here and takes the race victory, takes gold. It's a fantastic silver for Mutaz Mohamed. Coming home to take bronze, Kamil Kasperczak of Poland. And a really strong laser run for Jean Baptiste Morsea. That's your top three there. Brilliant laser run. There's your official standings then. It's gold and silver for Egypt with Emilian Hernandez and Chang Wang Seo in 17th and 14th. Yeah, one year ago, I won this race. Uh, I feel the same feelings, the same emotions, the same race. Actually, the last race was uh, ended in the last lap. Today, it was like this. Uh, during the last shooting, I was like uh, feeling a, 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 little, a little bit more confident. So fantastic result for Ahmed El Gendi. But what about Emiliano Hernandez and Chang Wang Seo? Let's hear their thoughts after this first competition of the 2024 season. Sí, una competencia bastante complicada. Es la primera competencia internacional de la temporada 2024. Mi equipo está muy enfocado en buscar la competencia ideal en París. Creo que tenemos un lema de que esta temporada tendremos un gran resultado. Estamos trabajando para que sea en la competencia de mi vida. Creo que llevarme un segundo lugar en el tiro carrera y saber que la competencia está viva a pesar de una esgrima complicada hace que me llene de confianza y energía. Hoy, so all that's left to do here in Cairo is to conclude the competition with the mixed relay where the male and female athletes come together in one last attempt to get a medal. Mexico versus China here on the fencing bonus round piece. Mexico have been so successful in mixed relay over the years and will fancy their chances to finish this event here in Cairo with a medal. Into the pool then, where we have two swimming heats. This is the second of the swimming heats and the athletes are always so quick in mixed relay. You can see Mexico leading a huge leap forward there by Julio Carrillo of Mexico into those final stages. Guatemala taking the win. So these are the standings then heading into the laser run. Kazakhstan getting us underway. 
and you can see it's a pretty big lead they have over Mexico. 24 seconds. Mariana Aceo at the shooting range. There we go. She gets her shooting routine completed and has now taken the race lead. Excellent running from Mariana Aceo, who hands over to Dulio Carrillo. So it's Mexico in first place with Kazakhstan still in second. And this is proving to be a really, really good battle between Mexico and Kazakhstan. The battle for gold and silver and Mexico have done it. They take the gold. It's silver for Kazakhstan and a brilliant bronze for Korea. Chang Wang Seo ending the event here in Cairo with a medal. My body now I think is uh, good, but uh, my, my mind is uh, really uh, strong and happy because <laughs> it's a crazy competition, it's really strong, the uh, uh, classific classification and semi-final and final. Nos vemos en Ankara. Well, that concludes the action here from Cairo for the first World Cup of the 2024 season. Next up, we're off to Ankara, Turkey. We'll see you all then. It's bye for now.